Beth's incredibly grateful for the efforts of those volunteer firefighters that day. But for her, a simple thank you wasn't enough. Instead, she's using a reminder of the destruction to give something back. To most people, this is just a pile of bricks. But to Beth Raps, it's so much more. The bricks are what's left of her old home on Fairfax Street in Berkeley Springs, which was destroyed by a fire in April. She remembers waking up at 4 a.m. just before flames took over the apartment building. The apartment wasn't full of smoke. There was no smoke in the apartment when I woke up, not a speck. So I felt really lucky. But Beth wasn't able to open up her window and was one of several people that had to be rescued by firefighters. They broke the windows for me and for my neighbor and her little girl. She got out safely but could never return. The building, which was over 100 years old, was deemed a total loss. Very, very devastating to, to our community. Uh, these, these buildings have been here for, for years and years and years. But now, its remains live on in a new way. And I wanted one brick. And not to really hold on to the past, but just because it was such a powerful experience for me personally, I thought, well, if I want a brick, maybe other people would want a brick. Now the bricks are all over Berkeley Springs for people to buy and support the volunteer fire company. The bricks are $5 each, with all of the proceeds going straight to the firefighters. So far, the town has recovered about 800 of the bricks from the destroyed building, with 200 of them already in stores around town. It makes us feel good. It makes us feel good. It's really great to have the community backing us and thinking about us at a time like this. These people risked their lives to save my life. It's a beautiful experience. It's actually fantastic to be able to turn it around in that way. The bricks are available at the Morgan County Public Library, as well as three businesses in town, the Community Garden Market, Hunter's Hardware, and Portal Sage Moon. Reporting live in the studio, Nick Monson, WHAG News.